What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, the champs are here. The champs are here. Indiana, you got yourself a championship college football team, baby. The Hoosiers done did it all. We put hands on NC State. Oh, we put hands on NC State. So let's do what we got to do this offseason, not to rebuild, but to reload. Recruiting, 35%. Training, 35%. Discipline, 30%. So far, we have not gotten in any trouble with the NCAA. You messed up, you're getting suspended. You want to bounce, you can bounce. To the league, to a new school, do what you got to do. I was afraid that Garcia would go. He was one of the highest recruited guys, or high, highest recruit guys coming out, and we did not play him that much. You see, he only got like eight tackles, I believe. Blair, he's also transferring. Patrick Willis, registered sophomore, going pro. Keys, going pro as well, which is okay. I mean, Garcia, you could have slid in maybe to free safety. Who knows, man? Who knows? You, you could have been playing for us. Who knows? You didn't want to do it. So this is the result you're going to get. Have fun playing for the zippity doodas, zippity A's. Anyways, man, Frazier, he's also gone. Courtney Johnson, our first real quarterback, first team Big Ten. He is gone as well. I will see you guys maybe never. <laughs> maybe never, but I hope you guys have a good one. Anyways, man, let's see who we're going after in recruiting. We're going after this five-star tailback. Why? Because we can. Do we need him? Probably not. But he wants to come to our school, so why not? He's only down the street in Michigan. Why don't you come to town? Then Moody, hey, middle linebacker. Rogers, middle linebacker. Then we got this athlete who's probably going to be a tailback, maybe a defensive end. We're going to talk about that. We're going to see. All right? Receivers. We're losing some. We got to get some in the building. Another athlete and Allen, another middle linebacker, outside linebacker. Two tight ends. Okay, straight New England Patriot, this thing. Another receiver, and, of course, the homie Rouse. They have already signed, signed on the dotted line. So when it comes to who we got, we got our big names, man. Three five-star recruits. Three of them. Three of them. Three blue chips. That's what we do. The blue chips. Put the blue chip in your mouth, baby. Now, we did lose on the center. I was trying so hard to get that center because he wanted to go to Purdue. Okay, it's straight recruiting wars. Okay, you want to go to Purdue? No, you come to Indiana. You don't want to go to that school. We put hands on that school, baby. You want to play for us and beat up that school. That didn't work for him. So he was like, no, I'm going there, and I'm about to be freaking pancaking your defensive tackles. That's what he told me in my head. He might not have said that, but that's what he told me in my head. So I'm going to make sure that we get some big fat guys in the middle, and we clog that lane, and he looks foolish every time he plays Indiana. Just joking. Wanted that kicker too, uh, but he's going to be going to uh, Texas Tech. Let one out of Indiana go to Texas. Not what you're supposed to do, but hey, it was his choice. We got a top five recruiting class. Number four in the nation, baby. Number four. Excuse me. Number four in the nation. Only 20 people uh, we uh, we got to sign, which is okay because I'm about to go through and cut people. This is the first year I'm about to cut people, and I don't like cutting people. Even guys that are not going to play. They don't play special teams for me. They don't even go to class at this point. Like, 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 they do nothing for Indiana at all, and I still don't like cutting them. But in this game, you can only have 70 guys on your roster, and I think this year we had, like, 73. So I got rid of some, like, running backs because we're so deep at running back that if you're, like, you know, a junior <laughs> and you're, like, 68 overall still, you're not going to play. <laughs> so I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, but anyways, man, so this is our athlete, 84 overall athlete. He's a beast at the end, though. I'm like, he's so small. Now, one year we did that with uh, Eastern Illinois. I think it was Walker. I forget his first name, but his last name was Walker. He wore 93, had that orange visor, I believe, or that black visor. Um, he was a beast. He was a real life beast playing DN slash outside linebacker when we went with four, D when we went with four uh, linebackers. But I'm not quite sure if I want to do that. Because uh, Parham... He has 96 overall speed. He will be a beast coming off that edge. And I would love to see it, harassing these quarterbacks. But look at the speed that we have at tailback. After Larkins and Walker, there's not that much speed. And, and Larkins, to me, he feels a little bit slow at times. Walker seems more explosive because probably has higher acceleration. But this guy, uh, uh, Par Parham, I mean, I'm like, I'm, I got to do it. 96 overall speed at halfback with this old offensive line and on my special teams unit. Oh, baby, he got to be there. He got to be there. Dan Adams, it's your time to shine, baby. Redshirt Jr., he has waited patiently. He has waited patiently. 
He has two years to do what he can do. If he doesn't want to do it in two years, he wants to bounce after this year, that's his choice. That is his choice. Do your thing. Just bring home a national championship, baby. We are the Midwest like Alabama, okay? We are the Alabama Midwest. We're trying to lay down a foundation here that's going to last for a lifetime or until Vin Lass leaves. Like imagine if Nick Saban leaves. Would it still be the same Alabama? Maybe for a little while. But not forever. At least that, that's how I feel. I don't know. Jordan McCoy, 95 overall tied in. The way that we have recruited, the way that we have built this team is absolutely phenomenal. And you know it. Everybody knows it. I want to see if we can do this someplace else during this same lifespan of Indiana's dominance. I think that would be a cool storyline to see or see play out. Anyways, man, we did get two guys that transfer. I did not show you guys that, but we're going to see their overalls here real quick. Um, as you see, our O-line... Our O-line is freaking beastly, bruh. Our O-line is beastly. Right guard, maybe a little bit shaky, but he is our best guy at, at 82 overall. So I think he's going to blossom fairly quickly, fairly well. I think Fry's going to do that thing. He is a redshirt freshman, so this is his first year playing. Right tackle, though, we're looking solid. Left in, 82 overall, looking solid. Daly, 86 overall, looking solid. Booker, doing his darn thing, bruh. Doing the darn thing. Um, so, yeah, there was a guy that transferred who also plays DN. Obviously, he has to sit out this year. We also had a safety that came to us. He's also going to have to sit out this year. When we re when we register guys, I will show you guys their overalls there. Um, but they are, right now, if they were eligible, they will be starting. I'm going to just put it like that. They, they have higher overalls. Do I always go by overall? I do not. I do not always go by overall. Sometimes it's just by a feel. If you're faster and I need, I feel like I need speed, I go with you. If you're more balanced, I need somebody that can break tackles and have some speed, then I go with you. Um, if I feel like you cover better in the slot, then I'll move you to the slot, yada, yada, yada. That's kind of how I do things. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, Tom Scott, he is going to be, re be replacing Battle. We got two new, free sa two, uh, two new safeties, a brand new safety duo, free safety, strong safety, and yeah. That's the squad. That is the squad. Anyways, man, let's go on to the red shirt. I was thinking about red shirt and Big Ian. Maybe we, maybe if we recruit another quarterback next year and we have four on the roster, maybe I will, will re shirt red shirt. Why am I saying read shirt? <sighs> Slow down, bro. Anyways, I would reach. <laughs> I would red shirt him. My goodness gracious. I should start this whole thing over, but I'm not going to do that. Um, go, I was thinking about red shirting him, but we, I mean, la was it last year? No, the year before last, I had to use all three quarterbacks. I had to use, um, I had to use Dan Smith. I had to use Courtney Johnson, and I had to use that other guy that, that transferred last year as well. I forget his name. Number 18, he was the athlete who left us. Good riddance. Anyways, though, man, when it comes to the deep tackle spot, as I'm going to keep all these guys just in their in the same year, not going to register in my DNs, deep tackle, though. Okay, check it out. Marvin Hill, 87 overall, monster. Monster. He's going to get registered so he doesn't lose a year of eligibility. Um, and yeah, that's what you got to do. These guys have a free year. Red shirt them or that transfer year is going to take away a year of football. That's, a, that's the way it was back in the day. That's the way it was back in the day. Anyways, man, linebackers, middle linebacker Buchanan, he's going to be our inside linebacker. He was outside a few times last year, had a couple of sacks. I think he's going to be an absolute dog. I'm looking at Rodgers, White, and Moody. These are my freshmen. These are my young pups. They can run their butts off. Pat Moody, 6'6", 232, got 80 speed. That's stupid. But all of them are going to get red shirted. We have a bunch of linebackers that are already, you know, healthy. Yes, they're outside guys, but we do play with more. We play with usually three linebackers on the field, then four. So I'm like, I'm going to register all you guys. We'll see who works out better next year moving forward. And then right here, let's move to strong safety. Big John, 87 overall. I did not register him here, but before I started the season, I did go back and I registered him. So he's registered as well. So again, I said before I left Indiana that I wanted to set this team up. To be a dynasty moving forward. Whether Vin Lasso is the head coach. Or whether he decides to move on to some other place. And I've been thinking about how I want to do this. Um, because as you see the schedule right here. Pretty tough schedule. But that's how we do it baby. We want the best of the best. We don't want no doubt. We don't want to say that. Oh y'all ain't playing nobody. Yeah no. no we, 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 we play people. 
Okay, we play people. But obviously, it's fun to build up a team. It really is fun to build a team up and um, see them go from the bottom to the top. But at some point during these 30 years or for however long we can do this dynasty, I would like to coach or have Ben Lasso coach a juggernaut already. He can come in, fill the shoes of somebody, and I think that would be dope. I would also like to, you know, take over a team that's like prestigious, like a USC and a, and a down their luck and bring them back up to prom prominence. But I think for the next school that we do, the next school that we will do will probably be a school that's down on their luck or has been down on their luck, has been a, 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 a stepping stone for big programs, has been a doormat for big programs and make that team into what we did with Indiana, who usually is a doormat for the Big Ten. Usually, not all the time, but usually. So yeah, that's probably what we're gonna do. But at some point during these years, we're gonna take on one of these big time schools. Maybe we'll coach at LSU. Maybe we'll coach at Auburn. Maybe Florida. I don't know. Maybe a Georgia. Who knows, man? Maybe maybe we'll coach at I don't know. I don't know Texas. Yeah, maybe we'll coach at Texas one year. Who knows? But what I do know is that I'm having a blast playing this game. Usually, like we did SAU for like 12 seasons. We did SAU for 12 seasons. That's my longest dynasty. Usually, I end these dynasties by like year 8, year 9, year 10. We're not doing that this year, baby. We're trying to go back to back. And if we go back to back, we're trying to get that 3 P, And then we'll dip. And then we'll be done. But anyways, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace, love. Hot sauce.